You've all not been out tonight. No, I've no, been at home. You've all been right. out with him. I don't care right now. Just get it Listen, ah, yeah, listen. we need to find out what's happened. I don't care as long as he's alive. What is? I'm going to get some tape. So police have released body cam footage of Emma Jane Mason, the woman who appealed to the court's ruling when she was initially found guilty of murdering her boyfriend, James Knight, in a drunken dispute. Now, in the first trial, the woman murderer tried to claim self-defence, but was convicted much for the fact that she waited 45 minutes while she watched her partner collapse to the ground and literally die right in front of her eyes. Due to her appealing their conviction, Emma Jane Mason was able to have a second trial, after it was deemed a very real possibility that she could have suffered from emotional unstable personality disorder, or EUPD for short. In lamest terms, Emma Jane Mason was said to have been exposed to domestic violence at a young age, as well as being neglected by her parents and being bullied at school. All the things millions of other regular people and ordinary people go through without feeling the need or having the compulsion to drink themselves into oblivion, or stab another person with a steak knife for that matter, let alone a person they claim to love and cherish. In January last year, the Courts of Appeal ordered a retrial after new psychiatric evidence showed that the 28-year-old Emma Jane Mason could have a defence for diminished responsibility. Now, I don't want to make it sound like I'm making a blame game, but how is it possible that due to being bullied at a young age or being neglected by family or witnessing domestic abuse, it can lessen the culpability for committing such a serious crime? That's like me punching someone in the face and telling the courts when I'm arrested, oh, it's not my fault, someone beat me up when I was six years old. Again, there are literally of millions of people that live through the most horrendous ordeals that you could possibly think of, and instead of lapsing into this dark place where alcohol and more alcohol and more alcohol and more alcohol is part of your daily routine, they pick themselves up, dust themselves off and move on with their life because they know they have things to do, like live life for example. Now, the CCTV footage shown to the courts showed a weeping Emma Jane Mason crying hysterically after she stabbed the dad of two after a drunken argument. Now again, because it's so absurd, I just have to say this again. 28-year-old Emma Jane Mason waited three quarters of an hour before dialing 999. Now during the call, not once did she admit to stabbing her boyfriend. Instead, she claimed to the operator, and I quote, he was just too smashed. She said, my boyfriend is here and he's making weird noises. I don't know what's going on. Now, this is when alarm bells are ring. This is the first colossal lie. Emma J. Mason stabbed Jason Knight in a fit of drunken rage with a steak knife right in the heart. She continued, he's got a lot of blood on him. I don't know what's up with him. She then proceeded to talk to her partner James, who was most likely dead at this time already. She told him to turn around so I know what's wrong with you. That's what you call a demented type of person. This is not normal behaviour. You have to literally be some type of demented type of person to be able to string lies together in the face of murder, like it's nothing. She continued to speak to the operator, saying, now he stopped making noises, he seems fine, He's come home to me as I've been out all night and he's collapsed on the floor. Now, the call continued as she explained to the operator, it's as if he's sleeping. And when the operator explained the ambulance may be delayed, Emma Jane Mason had the audacity to tell the operator, no, it's fine, don't worry about it. This was in a calm and cool and collected voice, as if she was talking to her mate, trying to decide if they wanted him to come over for a cup of tea and some biscuits. And in order to hammer home the point that this was an unfortunate situation, Emma J. Mason was brave enough to get a tattoo that pays tribute to her partner, the person she stabbed with a steak knife in the heart, and this happened while she was on bail. It features a crown and a bird with the phrase, Every Queen Needs a King. It also refers to James Knight's nickname of King James. Again, this is after she stabbed him in the heart with a steak knife. Now, during the trial, another one of her lies was James Knight, who worked as a bin man, had been on drugs and had been in a fight with nightclub bouncers. 
The whole situation is just completely mashed. Emma Jane Mason was described by the courts as cunning and deceptive. At the retrial, the woman murderer was jailed for life with a minimum sentence of 17 years in prison following a retrial. And all I can say is, serves her rights safe. <laughs>